Several years ago in the Arctic, I heard a testimony from one of the pastors whose daughter was backslidden and she wasn't serving the Lord. She was kind of fed up with religion and religious tradition. And the pastor, she actually um, gave her daughter one of my books about the signs and wonders and miracles, sharing some of the testimonies that had been happening recently in our meetings. And her daughter didn't really want to read it, didn't want anything to do with it. But one day she fell ill and she was laying on her couch and the book was right there. So she went and she got the book and she began reading through it. And she read it in one part of the book, a testimony about the feathers um, coming in the meetings, just the presence of the angels, the angelic beings coming in and feathers manifesting in the meeting. And she was reading about this. And as she was sitting on the couch, there was a feather that began to fall right out of the air in front of her. And she was totally just thinking, you know, what is that? That's weird. Maybe it's a coincidence. She's trying to explain it away, even though she didn't have a bird in her house or any reason why a feather should be falling. And she continued reading the book and she kept on reading about this angelic experience and another feather fell in front of her. So she collected both of the feathers and she put them in a little container and she continued reading the book. And there was a different part where I'm talking about some of the golden manifestations, the gold dust um, coming down on people, coming in people's hands and their Bibles, just coming in different ways. And suddenly out of the side of the wall in her living room, there was like sparks of gold dust, just like fireworks that were shooting out of her wall. And she was totally just overtaken by the glory of God, and so much so that she got down on her knees right there at the couch, and she just repented and just was weeping and crying and gave her heart back to the Lord. And as she was down there and she had given her heart back to the Lord, she wanted to keep on reading the book because God was just doing such a work inside of her that she came and she was reading about times when there'd be like manifestation of supernatural oil that would begin pouring out of people's hands, just a, a healing oil, an anointing oil. And so she was reading about that and oil started to drip from the ceiling in her living room. And so now she, she had these feathers she had collected. There was gold dust that was shooting like fireworks out of the side of her living room wall. And there was oil that was falling from the ceiling. And so she called her mom and she asked her mother to come over and see the miracles that were going on. She told her mom she had given her heart back to the Lord. And um, her mother was so excited. She came over and saw the miracles happening in her daughter's home. And she thought, we have to go on the radio and announce this. In the Arctic, the radio is open for everybody, just like a public service broadcasting system. And so they went up to the radio station and they got on there and they shared the testimony. They shared about the miracles. And Pastor Annie got on and she gave an altar call and ministered the gospel message to the people over the radio. And then they invited the whole town, the community, to come down to Alice's house, to the daughter's house, to see the miracles that were happening. And the, the most amazing thing about this testimony is that Alice's husband was actually the drug lord in town. And he heard the announcement being made over the radio about the miracles in their homes, about his wife giving her heart back to the Lord. And so they were, um, George was just upset. I mean, he was doing drugs. He was, he was a drug lord trying to deal drugs. And, um, and now he hears about these miracles and that people are going to go to his home to see them. And so he actually was going to go over to the house to pick a fight with people and just kind of stir up trouble. And when he got over to the house, people were literally coming from all over the community into the house and being touched by the power of God to such a degree. People were falling out in the spirit. People were coming in, weeping, giving their heart to the Lord. George came over, was about to go in the house to pick a fight. And he got so touched by the presence of God's glory that was in that home that he fell down on his knees. He began weeping. He gave his heart back to the Lord that afternoon supernaturally he got totally delivered from every drug addiction spirit of alcoholism God just did a mighty work in his life and uh, I heard later that he became like such a prayer warrior and and uh, involved in the church ministry and several months later I got an opportunity to go up and meet with George and Alice and Pastor Annie took to look and just see the wonder working power of God that was operating in that community it literally shook the community to such such a degree, the transformation began happening on every side. Uh, the whole community was given the hearts to Jesus and just coming in and it spurred a tremendous revival in that area of the Arctic.